Keeping a filet mignon classy, combining French and Argentinian elements, and getting down to the meat and potatoes of it all. Bring your appetite and find out the absolute best sides to pair with every cut of steak. The ultimate steak for committed carnivores has to be a caveman-style T-bone or tomahawk. Both of these bone-in steaks are mighty and hearty, yet tender. Whether you've got a giant appetite or want to share a meaty meal, they make for a special dining experience. If you're not sure about the difference between the two, a tomahawk is the same as a ribeye, but with the bone attached. A T-bone is a different cut altogether and part of the short loin. This gives it an intense, beefy taste with a texture that's on the softer side, making it a go-to order for any special occasion. You better be thinking T-bone steak medium red. For such a grand serving, you need an impressive side. And what could be better than a crunchy, blooming onion? The crispy onion pieces pair so well with either of these juicy steaks. And this is a side to share, which fits well with the extra large cut of meat. Filet mignon is arguably the best cut of steak. Cook it rare or medium rare to experience its velvety, melt-in-the-mouth succulence. As part of the tenderloin, this steak is luxurious and attracts a higher price tag than other cuts. It's got a mild beef aroma, it's got a mild beef flavor, and it's got a very tender texture. This might not be the right one to throw on the grill without a thought, but it's perfect for a gourmet dinner. Avoid weighing it down with stodgy comfort food sides that take away from the elegant, upmarket profile of this steak dinner. A wonderful way to enjoy the full taste and texture of filet mignon is with a fresh salad that has a special feature. A light salad with a vinaigrette dressing can balance out the richness of the steak. However, since this isn't a fatty cut, you might feel inclined to add a little heaviness with a creamy dressing. A great option is a Caesar salad, which consists of romaine lettuce covered in an anchovy dressing, a sprinkling of crunchy croutons, and grated parmesan. This promises an umami taste that's outrageously delicious with a buttery slice of filet mignon. Or opt for a gorgeous green salad with fresh wild herbs, a slice of chili, and mushrooms to soak up the juices. Ribeye is a boneless cut that's regarded as one of the tastiest beef options. It's tender, yet has a lot of marbling, which gives it enough fat to elevate the juiciness. The flavorful profile means it's suited to a solid side with lots of flavor too. Fries offer a carby contrast and are even better when elevated into a gourmet side. An incredible way to enhance the taste of fries for your steak dinner is to cook them in beef tallow. You can go one step further and opt for Wagyu beef tallow for an even richer taste. Or how about sweet potato fries baked in the oven with garlic butter? It doesn't get much more upmarket than air fryer truffle fries. While some people aren't fans of this fungi, enthusiasts find truffles irresistible. The salty, sharp, smoky taste of the fries is outstanding with a flavorful flame-grilled ribeye. Or keep it simple and serve plain fries with truffle aioli. When you're looking for an all-rounder cut of steak, top sirloin is a great choice. It's succulent but not soft, so if you like a juicy steak that you can properly chow down on and chew, this is the one for you. While it's not as tender as filet mignon by a long stretch, it is suitable for grilling. Because it's not a particularly delicate piece of beef, it pairs with a rich comfort food side too. And what could be more classically retro than a serving of creamy mac and cheese? If you want a fancier version, make the cheesy side with creme fraiche and add truffle oil before baking. Or for a special steak side, add slow cooked oxtail to mac and cheese featuring double cream and mature cheddar. A long piece of beef tenderloin is a stunning display for a sharing board at any dining table. Filet mignon comes from this cut of meat, but the tenderloin extends beyond. It's not as tender, but it's wonderfully succulent when you cook the whole piece. The boldly delectable meat is so mouthwatering that you'll want to serve it with a side that's not too heavy, but offers a complimentary flavor. Asparagus is a fantastic choice because it feels as special as this cut of beef. Asparagus made with garlic, herb, and lemon zest compound butter makes a great side to pair with the flavor with grilled tenderloin steaks. Or what about roasted asparagus and tenderloin? You can also serve both with a creamy blue cheese sauce for a boost of flavor. Porterhouse steak is a bone-in cut of beef that looks pretty similar to a T-bone. It's certainly as substantial and as intensely flavored. Murray, it's a special night. Let the kids order whatever they want. Yes! I'm gonna get the porterhouse! Both come from the short loin, 
but the porterhouse has a larger cut of tenderloin on one side. On the other side of the bone, both have a New York strip steak. This thick cut has it all. Soft, tender meat and also a fattier, juicy steak. Roasted green beans are an ideal side because the crunchy texture and flavor taste great with a rich slab of meat. Or elevate your meal with classic green beans almondine. The garlicky, citrusy, nutty flavor is perfect with a chunky porterhouse steak. You could also roast whole garlic bulbs, toast sliced almonds and butter, and mix everything with blanched green beans. It's unlikely you need to be sold on the concept of pairing mashed potato with steak. While mash is great with any cut of beef, it's a definite winner with a flat iron steak. This cut comes from the top blade of the chuck shoulder, which is close in tenderness to tenderloin. It is lean while also being super flavorful because of some marbling, which gives it a juicy, rich-tasting quality and makes it versatile to cook with. Elevate both the meat and the side by grilling Wagyu flat iron steaks and serving a buttery horseradish mash on the side. What about serving a citrus mash made with heavy cream and cream cheese alongside a lemon and garlic flat iron steak? Bring the flavors of the meat and creamy side together with a vinaigrette. Alternatively, you could add spiced chimichurri powder to the mash and serve the whole meal with a bourbon-infused jus. The feature that stands out most about skirt steak is its grain, which gives it a noticeable texture. The outside part of this cut is more tender than the inside, making this a steak to chow down on and chew through. It's not going to melt in your mouth like butter with each bite, and the thin and long cut can become tough if overcooked. Pan fry or grill it quickly at a high temperature so it's rare or medium rare, and slice it on a board to whip up some tasty strips that work well in fajitas. Why not choose a fresh-tasting, citrusy, herby Mexican side to pair it with. The acidic, peppery notes cut through the richness of this steak and create a Moorish contrast to the meat's subtle sweetness. With jalapenos, lime juice, and herbs like cilantro and parsley, a zesty side makes the meat taste even better. A salsa verde salad or a chunky fresh tomatillo salsa verde would also make a great addition to your skirt steak. Round steak is a thick, meaty, and beefy cut that's leaner and tougher than most. What it lacks in tenderness, it makes up for in pure, juicy flavor. If you cook the eye of round, it will be tender enough to serve as a steak. Since it's a hearty and affordable piece of meat, you might not want to spend a lot on a rich-tasting gourmet side. The good news is that this cut works well with a side of vegetables. Keep it simple by roasting carrots with yellow onions for a deliciously sweet side. Wild mushrooms and onions are delicious with roasted tender stem broccoli. Or how about creating serpent turf with broccoli and squid on the side? Coming from the belly, firm and flavorful flank steak should be cut against the grain. The lean meat is fabulous cooked on a grill thanks to its faint marbling and great taste. You might need to marinate or tenderize it to make it less tough, but the long, thin steak is deliciously chewy. A light, soft textured side that doesn't require too much chewing might be the best choice to balance it out. A splendid accompaniment to flank steak is thinly sliced grilled zucchini. You can make both the steak and the vegetable on the grill. Try garlicky grilled zucchini for a simple and scrumptious side to serve with sliced grilled flank steak, cooked rare or medium rare. Another way to dress up grilled zucchini and flank steak is by serving a creamy tzatziki on the side or drizzling a garlic and chive vinaigrette over the meal. Hanger steak is a flat cut of beef that's similar to skirt and flank. It's more tender than these other cuts because it's not as fibrous. Grilling it brings out the juiciness as long as you don't overdo it or else it can quickly become tough. While it has been underrated in the past, this cut is best matched with a classic comfort food side rather than a high-end dish with lots of fancy ingredients. The beefy taste pairs well with the crispy tang of onion rings. We're getting the onion rings? Hell yes, we're doing onion rings. Mm -hmm. Cool wife. TV chef Alex Guarnaschelli likes to serve sweet red onion rings alongside seared hanger steak sliced on a board with a drizzle of balsamic vinegar. Or if you want to keep it simple at home, whip up an easy batter by mixing flour with buttermilk and apple cider vinegar. Any list of the absolute best sides to pair with every cut of steak has to include roast potatoes. And if truth be told, these crispy, carby, fluffy-centered sides are glorious with every type of steak. More than that, they are perfect with any type of roast meat, especially a juicy, robust bottom sirloin if you want to dig into a classic steak dinner. Part of this cut includes the tri-tip, which is perfect for grilling as it's not as tender as top sirloin. Take note that the beefy flavor is more intense with this cut. 
You might look at British TV chef Jamie Oliver's roast potatoes cooked in duck or goose fat as inspiration. What makes these roasties special is that after being parboiled, they are refrigerated in the fat overnight so that they dry off. The grease creates a shell around each potato, which makes them roast beautifully. Season the roast potatoes with garlic, lemon juice, and zest, or roast them with garlic and rosemary for a timeless flavor. The bavette steak may have a French name, but it's actually a flat cut often used in Argentinian recipes that's more tender than skirt and flank. With some flavorful marbling, it's fantastic cooked on the grill and commonly used to make carne asada. Following through on this Latin American-themed culinary journey, what better side to serve with succulent steak slices than corn? You can choose to marinate bavette in a chipotle sauce and serve with boiled ears of corn with butter melted on top. If you want to add to the meal, serve the meat and corn with homemade salsa. This succulent steak is mouthwatering with a velvety corn puree side, too. Longer than a sirloin, New York strip steak is one of the most popular cuts of beef for meat lovers. Coming from the short loin, it's deliciously tender with marbling and fat to give it a fuller flavor. This all-American steak favorite is further enhanced with classic Romanoff potatoes on the side. There's a reason that steak and potatoes are such a timeless pairing. Make the side dish with grated baked potatoes. Mix them with white cheddar, shallots, and sour cream, and season with salt and pepper. You can also add cayenne pepper to this creamy, cheesy side for a bit of heat.